I was watching this last night. The intimate dance. Get this. Peer pressure, mind control, brainwashing tool, YouTube. Spiritism. Okay, now. This is the lady giving a presentation. Oh, uh, well, see if I can school this up here. Uh, well, anyway, her name is uh, Alicia, Alicia Clegg, C L E G G dot com. Uh, one of the reasons I brought this up watching the thing from uh, the High Desert Pioneer and he was talking about uh, you know one day after the SHTF out there in Venezuela you know and then uh, and this lady's talking about uh, peer pressure mind control and all that and that's what people tend to fall they need like some kind of authority to function and it didn't used to be that way back in the day in your forefathers' day, they were self-sufficient. They didn't need the government to take care of them. They took care of themselves. They grew their own crops. They knew they had skills. They could do their own uh, uh, shoeing their horses, uh, fixing fences, uh, fixing the windmill. They weren't afraid to do anything. But today's people, today's men, 90, I'll bet 90% of them can't go out and check their oil because they don't even know what a dipstick is. And maybe their girlfriend might or maybe their wife. But they don't know and their kids don't know. They have no skills. I mean, a pencil pusher has, has no um, uh, skills. It's not somebody you want during a, if the crap hits the fan. You know, they've got no skills, no skill sets at all. They can't take care of themselves. That's why they rely on the government. Now, if you, why I brought this thing up about the uh, authoritism is because, and peer pressure, because if we get into something bad, like, like the economy, let's say the economy goes bad, that's how Hitler got into power. People were starving. They didn't know how to take care of themselves. The government promised them this and they promised them that in order to get them under the government's wing. So that they would do the government's bidding. And that's what we're into today. People don't know how to take care of themselves. So what do they do? They look for somebody who can. Why do people flock to the Democrats? Because they get free stuff. Because they can't provide it themselves. Why can't they provide it themselves? Because they have no skills. They don't know how to work. Nor do they care to. I mean, it's like having a stray dog come to your house. You feed him once... He'll stick around. And that's how it is, people. Anyway, it just it just it just come to me as you know how you know if we do get into a thing, we we're, we won't need police, we're not gonna need lawyers, we're not gonna need judges. Ninety nine percent or ninety percent of the people out there they have no clue on how to fend for themselves or take care of themselves. If you know somebody who has firearms, at least they have some kind of working knowledge that they could get out and maybe provide you with a meal. People that reload, they'll have plenty of ammo for quite a while. But if you have no other skills, let's say you need to work on your car and you've never worked on a car, you don't even have the tools, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? You've relied on everybody to the point that you subcontracted your whole life support to the government or some other kind of agency. You know, most people live in the cities. Their, their, their food and water comes from the labors of somebody else. Their clothes are made by somebody else. Uh, the heat and electric is delivered uh, by somebody else. These people have no skill sets whatsoever. They won't survive. Ladies, you better keep that in mind. You better get some skill set yourself. I mean, just if you walk around looking pretty, that isn't going to do it. That ain't going to buy, well, it might for a while, but 
you'd be tossed to the side. I mean, can you make a quilt? Do you know how to sew? Do you know anything? Do you know how to can food? No. Bomber. Oh, well, my mommy never showed me. You know what, people? My mommy didn't show me either, but they got books. And I learned how to do it myself. Now, this this can be a, a quagmire if you get down into it. If, if things go wacko in this country, these people are going to be looking around for somebody to lead them out of it instead of trying to lead themselves because they are not independent. They are not self-sufficient, nor do they want to be. They want somebody to take care of them like Mommy and Daddy used to. But Mommy and Daddy ain't around anymore. You know, they keep running around to go, well, you know, they look, they, look for, they look for somebody to look up to. That's why you got these nitwits that love football. They love, oh, they're fans of the football because, oh, yeah, this guy, you know, he, he's a real man. They look up to heroes from Hollywood. They're idols. Save, you know, going out, you know, these action heroes and they're saving the world. Where are you? You're stuck in their reality, not your own. You don't know how to take care of yourself. And you put yourself in that place on your own. So wake up, smell the roses, get out there and learn some skills. Or you're not going to make it. Thanks for watching.